so next important aspect here in the total quality management is understanding the customer this is a very much important thing here okay see here in our discussion customer is at the center you know customer is at the center of discussion okay so whatever the tools you are utilizing or using here everything is to satisfy the customer okay everything is to satisfy his customer customer should delight okay you should feel wow okay when you can bring wowness on his face then it, he will be very very delighted with your service or the product and he himself will act as a he himself is act as a you know brand ambassador for our product okay so that is why it is always important to understand the customer while dealing the quality management here okay so here generally customers are divided into two types internal customer and external customer here okay here internal and external okay we know who are external who external who buy our product who buy our product our product final final product okay then who are these internal customers who are these internal customers these internal customer is like this see if you take the car manufacturing company like this okay so in the car manufacturing company see this is the workstation one and this is the workstation two and this is the workstation three okay and then this is the workstation four this is the workstation four so this these process are these all these processes are in this you know sequence sequence means the workstation the work in the workstation can be completed can be started only after the you know item or the work in progress or the item that we have you know, de, you know prepared in the workstation one should reach the workstation two in the same way the work in the workstation three will start only after the item or the product in the workstation two reaches the workstation three like that it is going you know it is moving in the sequence that means here can i say that he is the customer customer for the workstation one okay in the same way he is the customer for the workstation two and he is the customer to the workstation three okay so here this customer should be satisfied with the product that is provided by the workstation one in the same way the customer in the workstation 3 should be satisfied with the product that is that is being supplied by the workstation 2 see if it, that is not happening then there is a discrepancy between the you know the expectations and the the actual product being supplied to the expectation okay then what happens there is a you no know, change in the quality for example here if I take you know some circle like this so there is a chain formation between the customer and the supplier okay for example this is the organization boundary so here this is the customer and this is the chain sorry this is the supplier and this is the customer this is the supplier okay this is the customer this is the supplier this is the customer this is the supplier this is the customer it is going outside means the product is releasing or uh, this is the customer mean maybe sales executive or the you know the customer associated with the company so that uh, the final customer may come and buy from him and here we are here also we have a supplier like this okay so we have a internal customer and supplier link and uh, that link is going outside with our product even here also we have a supplier supplier means vendor it he may be a vendor here and here is the customer okay so if you break the chain here this 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 chain is very strong customer and supplier chain is very strong this will decide how well the process is organized if you break any chain like uh, if the if this particular supplier is uh, not 
providing the qualitative material or is not you know moving in pace with the other customer expectations then there is a decrease in the quality okay then we need to we need to investigate that okay so what is the action plan in that particular case what is the action plan in that particular case then we need to improve the mistake or the defect wherever we found that okay that is the meaning of that so by doing that we can reach the you know excellence we can reach the excellence in the product or product quality okay so here and who will decide the quality of the product again we came back to the same question who will decide quality who will decide quality quality of course again the customer okay we ourselves cannot give a tag you know quality tag to our product okay but the customer or the end user end user give the customer or end user give the tag okay end user give the tag okay and the situation also depends the the circumstances in which the customer is reviewing the product that is also depends okay for example it depends on the marketplace it depends on the market place marketplace in the sense for example for example here in india if you are comparing different types of cell phones then the cell phone whichever is having the more features and the having more powerful processor will get the good review from the customer but whereas if you go to the uh, and the cell phone whichever is not doing the good in the in this market if you go to some other disadvantaged countries there some other uh, you know countries some other countries i don't want to name anything like uh, you know the countries whichever is not that much developed then what happens what happens whichever performed bad here in the indian market can perform very well there in that uh, circumstances why because for example if you compare the iphone and the samsung low end then iphone minimum cost itself is uh, something like a uh, 30 to 40 thousand and if you go to the poor country then they they not even think of you know buying the iphone that's why even iphone also never target those countries but the samsung which is at the bottom level which unable to compete in the indian market or us market will perform very very well in that particular you know country that means the user will give very good rating for samsung in their country but that same samsung might have failed in our indian market or some other European or American market. So that is why how will the customer decide is it's depend on it depends on the marketplace and it also depends on the competition. Okay. Competition. Okay. See if the competition is no there is no competition, then there is no one to compare you for the quality. So you can compare only when there is a competition. So these two will decide the these two will decide this you know uh, review of the um, customer and uh, see how customer reviews this how customer review the product okay how customer review the product <coughs> review by customer So this is also called as a, this is also called as a requirement and a assessment. This review is also called as a <coughs> requirement and a assessment. Okay. So if you draw the no flow chart for this see for example we started with the customer here we started with the customer okay customer wants to buy some you know uh, car so what is his requirement 
See, if he is going for the luxurious car, then his requirements are different. And if he is going for the basic car, then his requirements are totally different. So, he will provide the requirements. Okay. He will provide the requirements. So, customer requirements. Requirements. So, customer requirements. And after customer requirements are you know received then we will from the we will form the quality specification quality specification okay how for example the customer is asking for the nano car so here i will take a nano car as the customer requirement here in this case okay nano car and we what are the quality specification for the nano car the quality specification for a nano car will vary if compared to the you know very luxurious car okay if i compare the nano and the luxury car then the specification quality specification will vary so that is why we need to take the you know, customer requirements and after quality specification then it will go to the it will go to the producer's process okay it will go to the producer's process producer's process okay so here in the producer's process we will get the output okay we got the nano card okay based on the specification we got the nano card so in the nano card what is the specification here the nano card is very you know cheap in the cost its cost is very very cheap compared to other cars and uh, at the same time it should fulfill the you know basic uh, functional requirement what is the basic functional requirement the basic functional requirement is it should be useful for the mobility and uh, of course it should able to accommodate more than one or two persons two to two to three persons okay so we got the output and we supplied that particular car to the customer here so the customer requirement is the basic car and we provided that basic car with a you know maintaining the basic level of <coughs> quality then after that after receiving the product the customer now start the assessment see initially based on the requirement based on the requirement we produce the car and given to the customer now he will start assess that okay now he will start the he will start assess that assess means he will give feedback for that okay he will give feedback for that so here the customer assessment will be you know given here as a form of a feedback feedback as a form of feedback the customer assessment will become customer assessment here customer assessment will come as a form of feedback and this feedback will be given to the given to the producer okay this feedback is given to the producer see the producer himself is uh, supplying the you know pro procuring even the material then everything will be taken care inside this otherwise if the vendor is outside then vendor is outside then they will communicate with the vendor and uh, according to that the vendor will change this okay they communicate with the vendor and according to that the vendor will change this for example in the in the nano car if he felt like the doors are not so strong the material for the door is not strong or if it is a corrosive material then the vendor is supplying those material then the producer will talk with the vendor to and to provide a you know good standard material then the vendor will change that and provide back to the producer and provide sorry the producer changes that particular part which is undergoing the corrosion then again it will he will release the output and output again come to the customer and uh, he will give the feedback and th this is a continuous loop it will it will it will increase the this particular loop will increase the product over the period okay so initially 
the product is really is based on the customer requirements okay see nano car is the best example because <coughs> you know indian market is very cost conscious and uh, in the first time tata first time tata you know uh, announced this you know uh, car which is uh, affordable to many people okay that is the requirement of car is a basic requirement of many people and which is coming at a uh, 1 lakh rupees okay so based on the customer requirements he started that and then here what can we so what can we derive from these from this cycle okay we from this cycle we can derive like uh, what can we derive we, from this cycle so we can understand that quality is a not one time issue but it is a moving target quality is a moving target quality is a moving target what is the meaning of that what is the moving target see here i produce the car and i supply it to the customer and uh, with that my job is not done with that my job is not done so after that what happened see services services and of course warranty i need to meet good service and as well as a warranty and uh, you know improvement also improvement in the product so you can identify this as this is also as a part of the quality see quality is that is why it is a moving target it is keep on you know in, you know um, attached to the product even after sales also for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com